In the world of organized crime, leaving comes at a staggering cost. In this video, we'll uncover the chilling repercussions that follow those who break the code of silence and defy the mob, revealing the dark secrets of the underworld. What drives someone to defy the Omerta and expose the criminal organization? How do they navigate the treacherous path to freedom? Let's take a deeper look into the betrayals, violence, and lifelong paranoia that accompany leaving the mob. Joe Valacci Joe Valacci's defection from the Mafia unfolds as an epic of treachery, rife with life-threatening fallout. A soldier within the vast Cosa Nostra army, Valacci found himself ensnared by the law on unrelated criminal counts in the early 1960s. Betrayed by the same men he once called brothers, he committed an unforgivable sin in the eyes of the mob. He shattered the sacred omerta. Before a riveted congressional audience, Valachi peeled back the veil of secrecy that had long shrouded the American Mafia, divulging its clandestine hierarchy and operations. His disclosures sent shockwaves through an incredulous public and marked the inception of the Mafia's exposure to the world. His severance from the underworld drew deadly reprisals from those he betrayed. Cocooned in the scant safety of witness protection, Valachi was consigned to a shadowy existence, perpetually glancing over his shoulder, a stranger to peace. His seminal act of defiance carved his place in history as the Mafia's inaugural informant, a label that bestowed notoriety and a ceaseless target on his back within the clandestine empire he helped to unmask. Henry Hill Must have been 13, 12, 13 years old then. Took the baseball bat out of the back of the car. Walks in a bar. And I could see it, you know, from where I was. And he starts hitting the bomb he with the baseball bat. Henry Hill's departure from the Mafia is a spellbinding saga of treachery, a harrowing journey away from the criminal underworld and the tempestuous aftermath, a story that would later serve as the basis for Martin Scorsese's masterpiece film, Goodfellas. Within the infamous Lucchese crime family, Hill was a linchpin, his involvement in high-profile capers like the Lufthansa heist making him an invaluable asset. But the cracks within his loyalty grew as he felt the sting of betrayal from his own associates. Hill's odyssey commenced with a daring decision to turn state's witness, an audacious step that led him to expose the darkest secrets of the Mafia. His riveting testimony sent powerful mobsters, among them Paul Vario and James Burke, into the cold confines of prison. Witness protection became his new reality, yet the looming specter of retribution refused to release its grip. Despite his new identity and a life cloaked in secrecy, Hill's involvement in drug-related dealings precipitated his expulsion from the witness protection program, casting him adrift in a relentless battle for survival. His life beyond the Mafia was a ceaseless struggle, etching an indelible portrait of a man perpetually seeking refuge while dodging the relentless clutches of vengeance from his former criminal cohorts. Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano But I, I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna turn around. If Cosa Nostra is that we kill each other, we do this, we do that, and then when we get pinched, you're gonna throw me to the wolves, you want me to do the time, so you can hit the street. Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano's severance from the Gambino crime family reads like a chapter from a tumultuous crime novel, replete with treachery, alliances with the government, and an unending chain of repercussions. As the underboss to the notorious John Gotti, Gravano wielded immense power, but when faced with hefty criminal charges, he chose a path untraveled by most in his echelon. He turned informant in 1991. His testimony toppled the Teflon Don, Gotti, alongside a host of other Mafia operatives, marking a seismic shift in the New York underworld. In return, Gravano was handed a lenient sentence, a controversial move that stirred both the public and the mob. Yet, even within the guarded embrace of witness protection, the shadows of his former life crept close, 
Gravano, unable to sever ties with the criminal world completely, later found himself ensnared in drug charges, a stark pivot from government witness to defendant. Sammy the Bull's odyssey from mafia royalty to a marked man illustrates the complexity of such a defection, marked by the glaring spotlight of betrayal and a life perpetually entangled with violence and the relentless pursuit of justice. His narrative remains a striking discourse on the price of turning one's back on the mob. Frank Calabrese Sr. Frank Calabrese Sr.'s exodus from the Chicago outfit is a harrowing saga of familial strife, cooperation with the law, and the relentless specter of vendetta. Enmeshed in the notorious world of organized crime, Calabrese dared to defy the very bloodline that tied him to his criminal roots. In a stunning turn of events in 2007, he chose to break the Mafia's code of silence, offering his damning testimony against his own brother Nick and his fellow mobsters. The seismic impact of his cooperation reverberated through the Chicago outfit, resulting in pivotal convictions. However, the personal cost was staggering. Calabresi and his loved ones became prime targets for vengeful former associates, their loyalty shattered by what they deemed an unforgivable betrayal. His life became a relentless tightrope walk, marked by ceaseless threats and an ever-present fear for his safety. Calabrese's exit from the Mafia may have brought down a criminal empire, but it also cast him into the unforgiving spotlight of notoriety, forever haunted by the repercussions of his choice. His story serves as a stark reminder of the perilous journey embarked upon by those who defy the Mafia's omerta. Michael Francesi There were hits put out on you at that point? Yes. Okay, by who? My former boss, uh, Carmine Persico. Okay, who's he now? Passed away, now passed away on March 7th. Uh, yeah, he, was, he took it very personal when I walked away. Michael Franzesi's exit from the Colombo crime family is a narrative of profound change, a departure from the shadows into a life of purpose. Once a high-ranking capo regime, Franzesi was integral to the underworld's machinations. Yet, as the 1980s waned, so did his affinity for the life of organized crime. Struck by an epiphany, Franzese turned his back on the Mafia, embarking on an unprecedented path toward integrity and restitution. His cooperation with law enforcement, punctuated by his testimony against former allies, branded him a renegade in the eyes of the mob. Undaunted by the threat of vendetta and the relentless dread of retribution, Franzese forged a new identity as a beacon of hope. As a motivational speaker and author, he began to dismantle the very culture of crime he once perpetuated, becoming a vocal opponent of the Mafia. His transformation from a capo regime to a crusader for change is not just a tale of personal salvation, but a powerful beacon, lighting the way for others to follow from darkness into redemption. Alphonse Darko Alphonse Darko's defection from the Mafia's embrace is a gripping saga of high-risk defection and a life cloaked in the shadows. Once a respected capo in the Lucchese crime family, under the iron-fisted rule of Vittorio Musso and Anthony Casso, Darko's world was upended as fissures within the mob deepened. Choosing to turn away from the underworld's omerta, Darko's dramatic pivot to government informant in the early 90s sent shockwaves through the Mafia. His explosive testimony proved pivotal, bringing about the downfall of titans like Amuso and Caso. This betrayal, however, came at a profound cost. The aftermath was a life skewed by paranoia. The former mafioso was now a marked man, branded a turncoat by those he once called family. The sanctuary of witness protection became his austere refuge, yet the specter of vengeance was a constant companion. Darko's descent from mafia aristocracy to a phantom existence was fraught with the tension of a life under siege, a stark testament to the perilous road of breaking free from the mob's deadly grasp. Joseph the Animal Barbosa 
Joseph, the animal Barbosa's departure from the Mafia, unspools like a grim noir tale, steeped in violence and ending in a blood-soaked denouement. As a fearsome hitman for the New England Mafia in the Roaring Sixties, Barbosa carved a reputation in the underworld stone. But in an audacious twist, he flipped, embracing the role as an informant for law enforcement. His damning testimonies toppled mob kingpins, shattering the Mafia's code of silence. This act of treachery placed a target on his back. Barbosa's life morphed into a relentless gauntlet, with danger lurking in every shadow. The final act of his life played out in 1976 on the streets of San Francisco. A grim coda as he fell victim to the very violence he once wielded, allegedly slain by the Mafia's unforgiving hand as a grim reprisal for his cooperation. The end of Joseph Barboza was as brutal as his moniker suggested. His fight from the Mafia, fueled by a desire to break free, instead spiraled into a cautionary parable, underscoring the grim reality that for those enmeshed in the Mafia's web, Betrayal can be a fatal transgression. John Alight The tale of John Alight's escape from the Mafia is a harrowing odyssey, a relentless pursuit of truth, and a heartening transformation. Alight, an integral part of the Gambino crime family's dark tapestry, found himself at a crossroads as the relentless grip of law enforcement closed in around him, forcing a life-altering choice. His departure unfolded with a courageous decision to break Omerta, turning the tables on former comrades and offering vital testimony that secured convictions. The cost of severing ties with the Mafia was staggering as threats and violence haunted his every step. Witness protection offered some refuge, but the specter of danger remained a constant companion. In a stunning twist of fate, John Alight found redemption in his exit from the Mafia. He metamorphosed into an unwavering advocate against organized crime, sharing his own tumultuous journey and experiences. With the fervor of a man reborn, he transformed himself into an influential anti-Mafia speaker and author, shedding light on the perilous realm of the mob and guiding others towards safer shores. A light's exit may have been fraught with danger, but it ultimately became a transformative path, illuminating the power of second chances and the strength of redemption. Vincent the Chen Gigante The saga of Vincent the Chen Gigante's departure from the Mafia reads like a mesmerizing crime drama, complete with deception, chaos, and an unexpected twist. Gigante, a formidable figure at the helm of the Genovese crime family, saw his empire begin to crumble in the late 1990s thanks to a cunning gambit. His exit strategy took a bizarre turn when he adopted a guise of apparent mental instability, donning bathrobes and slippers in public. This bewildering act was designed to shield him from the legal heat bearing down on him but it inadvertently unleashed a whirlwind of turmoil within the family. The perception of a power vacuum gave rise to a savage power struggle, with challengers vying for dominance. However, Gigante's grand act couldn't defy the long arm of the law. In 1997, he faced the consequences, being convicted on racketeering and conspiracy charges. His carefully orchestrated departure from the Mafia led to a life sentence behind bars, a far cry from the peaceful retirement he had envisioned. In the end, his ploy to evade prosecution through feigned insanity proved to be a twisted, self-destructive finale to his criminal career. John Vesey John Vesey's departure from the clutches of the Philadelphia Mafia reads like a pulse-pounding thriller but with the stark, cutting edge of reality. In the shadowy depths of the 1990s criminal underworld, VC made a daring choice to break the sacred code of silence and turn informant for law enforcement. His courageous testimony was a crushing blow to the mob, clinching convictions that shook the foundation of the mafia's power. 
VC's family vanished into a fog of witness protection, a life-saving shroud meant to shield them from the vengeful crosshairs of his former comrades. But the illusion of safety was shattered in 2012 when the past caught up to VC in Florida, where a new identity could not protect him from a fatal encounter with his old life. VC's tragic end serves as a haunting reminder. Escaping the Mafia's grasp is a path fraught with peril, where the ghosts of old loyalties can emerge from the shadows at any given moment, relentless and unforgiving.